So today I want to cover what's traditionally been viewed as perhaps the easiest concept in HC MX1 and that is integration by substitution. And the method is pretty much very routine. What's going to happen is that you're going to be given a substitution and that's just going to pretty much help you evaluate the integral for you. So I'll jump straight into my example. In this example, I'm given the substitution u is equal to arctan of x to evaluate that scary looking integral. And pretty much in the spirit of the differential equations topic, I'll just be differentiating that. And I'll also move my dx to the other side as well. And the reason why I do that is because, well, if I look at my original integral now, I actually see that dx multiplied to 1 plus x squared has been sandwiched in the expression to integrate like this. And pretty much in the place of all of that, I can now just sub in for du. And then everything left untouched, well, I'll say, well, okay, I see 4 plus arctan of x all squared here, and I've used equal to arctan of x, so I'll sub that in to obtain 4 plus u squared. And pretty much once I do that, I'll obtain an expression that I know how to integrate. In particular, this will be half times the arctan of u on 2 plus c. But for an indefinite integral, I need to firstly remember to sub back in for x, or rather finally remember to sub back in for x. So I'll also do that. In my case, u was equal to arctan of x, so I'll get half times the arctan of the arctan of x divided by 2 plus c, and then I have my final answer. As an ending remark, I know I've written it down already, but I'll just remark that for a definite integral, you don't do that, but rather when you make your substitution, just remember to change the boundaries on your integral as well, and you never need to do something back in that situation. Thanks everyone.